Hello Girl Scouts, I'm Kathleen, a program manager from Girl Scouts of Northern Illinois. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm gonna to show you one activity from the Daisy Brownie Jr. World Thinking Day Award. The World Thinking Day Award is special as its requirements change each year with a different theme. So it is one award that you can earn each and every single year of Girl Scouting. This year's theme, the 2022 theme, is Our World, Our Equal Future, the environment and gender equality. Did you know that 20,000 years ago, much of the United States was covered in glaciers? A glacier is a large area of ice that covers the land and remains frozen for many, many years. Can you imagine our country being covered mostly in ice? Well, it was. But because of climate change, we have warmer climate and fewer glaciers. This might seem okay, but the entire planet is heating up too much and too fast. And this creates problems for plants, animals, and humans. And it makes our weathers more extreme. For example, our seasons highs and lows are more intense than what we're used to. And we have more hurricanes and floods. Many things we do as humans create greenhouse gases. This is mainly caused by activities like using gas to drive cars, burning forests to farm on or to build cities, and burning coal for electricity. All this burning creates gases that trap heat from the sun. We can start to help by making a few changes to the way we live. Some helpful changes might be refilling water from the tap in a reusable cup instead of using a disposable water bottle, turning off lights when you're not using them, walking or riding a bike instead of driving, reducing food waste, and using far fewer plastics and paper products. Scientists tell us that we're seeing the temperature rise on the Earth's on the ocean's surface. And that's caused by more heat trapped in the Earth's atmosphere. As the Earth's average temperature increases, the ice on the North and South Poles begin to melt. So today we're going to find out about melting glaciers. This activity is gonna take 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, you can do it with a Girl Scout friend, and if you're working as a troop, you can divide up into two small groups. You will need clay, a measuring cup, a butter knife, two clear plastic or glass containers, colored tape, water, and ice. So group one will be modeling what the South Pole is like. So you'll need your one container. And in this container, you're going to take a cup of clay. And you can and you're going to put it into <laughs> you round it out a little bit squish it put it into your container one of your containers leave some space around the edges because you're going to pour some water in there you can use your butter knife to smooth off the top. Then you're going to add some water. This water represents the ocean. The clay represents the land at, on it. Then you're gonna take two ice cubes and set them on top of your land gently. And you can gently pat them in a little bit and this represents the polar ice sheets 
Now, we're going to mark where the water level is at. I'm going to take some of my tape and mark where the top line, the top of my water line is. And I'm going to put a few pieces of tape to show where that water line is. Or I can put a piece of tape all the way around. All right, so I marked where my water line is. And then you're gonna set this aside for later. Group two is going to create a model of the North Pole. So this time you're gonna take some water and take your container and fill it up about half, a half, halfway through. So I fill half or a third of the way. Uh, this water is the ocean. Then we're gonna add two ice cubes to the container just like that and these are floating polar ice caps and then I'm going to mark my water level once again so I mark my water level on that one as well and I'm going to set this aside both groups are then going to wait for the ice to melt and then measure the difference in each container wait for the ice to melt and then observe the containers ask yourself these questions with your group or with your friends and family has the water level risen in either container what do you think happened to the land Antarctica in the South Pole and the polar ice cap in the North Pole in the North Pole the floating ice melts and the water level does, should not increase because the ice is absorbed into the water. In the South Pole, when the ice sheet is on a land mass, the water level should rise. Even the smallest rise in sea level can cause flooding in our coastal areas. How do you think melting ice might affect the area where you live? 